I'm Tim Pickens. I'm at the uh, U.S. Space and Rocket Center. I'm with the Rocket City Space Pioneers. And I'm standing in front of the Bigelow 330 Space Station module. This is actually a habitat, one-third scale, that wants to be on orbit here in the next two or three years. This is a privately funded space station program. Traditionally, all the space stations that have been put into orbit have been done with government funding. You know, you remember the Skylab program back in the 70s? And then we have the International Space Station that's up there right now. And then we had the mirror that the Russians put up. Well, this is privately funded. This guy named Robert Bigelow, he's a, he's a great visionary. In fact, he, uh, he owns a hotel chain called the Budget Suites of America. And they're very successful. And he's using some of his money to build habitats in space so third world countries and other Research organizations can buy space, or actually lease space on orbit. And uh, this is very cool. As I said, this is a third scale. And these are inflatable modules. They sort of like, they're like balloons. They actually collapse. And uh, that allows them to be flown underneath a small diameter rocket. And then when they get onto orbit, the, uh, the fairing comes off. And then they inflate themselves with things like oxygen and a little bit of nitrogen. That's what you have for uh, a cabin makeup. Actually, a lot of nitrogen, a lot of oxygen. And um, basically, a lot of those tanks are empty after you get on orbit that were used for the inflation. And we use those for something else. And I'll talk to you about that here in a minute. Because you obviously got to have propulsion if you're going to be on orbit with something large like the spacecraft. And, um, there's some really cool features I want to talk about. 